Thanks, the cool capers. Thank you very much. But it is not set up here. We're just using our um, like regular mics that we would use while I don't know playing games. Playing or video. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do for people that like I don't know want to react or something to whatever we're saying, uh, just to make it easier, I'm gonna open up Discord in my browser on the side. Uh, and if you want to talk to us, you can just put it in chit chat and I'll just have that open in another, uh, window and occasionally look at it if you want to like smart. respond to stuff just so it's That's not smart. like flooded or people think they're not being heard or something like that. It's easier if the yeah. Q and A thing is like only questions so we can scroll through it. And, and for everyone who's here and obviously everyone who's going to watch the video, I assume we're already recording. Yes. Um, this is entirely off the cuff. We have no idea what we're doing. Clearly, uh, I can't is... remember my Discord password. <laughs> I, I got it! <laughs> Good job. I was about to start suggesting something that I remembered we're being recorded. Yeah, Google, <laughs> please save that. Uh, but yeah, this is this is just a way that we want to use to um, uh, engage with you guys, answer the very specific questions you actually have, because I'm terrible at managing our social media and stuff like that. Um, and just to let you know that we are alive because yeah. we get the question so often, are you guys still alive? Are you guys still, you know, doing mm -hmm. whatever? It's like, yes, yes If I am we don't alive. post a video at least once a month, everyone's like, I cannot believe that Opie Mead has passed off this mortal coil. Everyone involved is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they all died <laughs> in, a, in a fiery internet crash. Fiery internet crash. Our server okay. exploded. Now, now, now I got to prove that I know my password just to dunk on you please mess up please mess up please mess up please mess up i was actually like bracing to mess up and i didn't ha damn it okay so i'll open up chit chat too and uh i guess we'll just get started there's no like rhyme or reason to the things that we pick um i'll have youtube open and we're going to pick some of the uh, uh most liked questions in that one as well and i'll read off who uh asked it as well but for the most part we'll be looking at all of the questions you provided us in the questions uh what is the... called again channel there we go yeah there you go old man I, um i so for 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 someone who put together three discord videos i actually don't really use discord <laughs> well yeah That's because much. like i just give you the magic images that have all the edits <laughs> Yeah, and then it's like, okay, did I do it right? No, that's the completely wrong sound. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you're like, uh, hey, shouldn't there be a thing here whenever someone joins? I'm like, I don't know, dude. Do you know if there should be someone there when someone joins? No? Okay. For, the, full disclosure, the, the Discord videos, while I end up editing them, are like 90% blue. Like, he, he sets them all up. He writes most of it. Those are all him. Yeah. You guys should definitely watch them if you, if you haven't. I know it's a little bit... Uh, different than the actual show but they're they're packed with absurd humor and i love all the details and they're canon <laughs> and, and the first one isn't the other two are the first one's up for debate the second yeah second third and fourth aren't wait third fourth we haven't done a fourth yet we haven't but we have plans we have plans um, all right so why don't we get started Okay, so the way we're going to do it is uh, Gray and I are just going to take turns picking questions. Uh, we don't want this to go on too long. Uh, we don't want to have to like edit a lot off the video for people that missed it, but uh, we will say that any of our uh, cool capers, we will make sure to get all of their questions. Not that people that aren't capers are lesser. It's just kind of, we feel like we should do something, and we don't like give them anything but a little preview. So I feel like we should answer their questions just to be <laughs> thankful. Um, but yeah, we'll try to get to everyone, but we kind of agreed beforehand it should probably stick to like 15 to 20 minutes just to be safe. Yeah, and then if your question isn't answered, we're just going to do this next month. Um, the one thing is, over the months, we'll be rotating out where it won't just be me and Blue, because that will be boring. Um, at some point, we're going to get some of our uh, actors in as well. So if you have any specific actors that you would like to hear from, maybe let us know. We'll see if they're interested. Uh, then you can ask them all specific questions and uh, see, you know stuff about them i'm doing the dreaded at everyone oh no not the at everyone they gotta know oh, okay god i'm sorry even i was pinged yeah you're part of everyone oh no i'm part of everyone i hate that if you don't like it please leave me a negative review on my steam accounts so that i may learn from my mistakes <laughs> You know, at All some right. point, I'll have to share my Steam account and see if people want to not play games with me because I'm a dirty Xbox user. Who wants to play Resident Evil 5 PC? 
<laughs> okay. I know uh, more than that. They're just mostly single player games. Uh huh. Um, so I guess we will start with oh, the. Hey, Android Twenty One is here. What? Hey, dude. <laughs> Uh, I will start with the first question posted in the Q&A channel. Can I be in the vid? Yes, I'm, go I'm going to do a big edit all over your face, and you will be in the video. Congratulations. All right, great. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just passing it back and forth? All right. Uh -huh. I, I, I can do that. I can do that. Tag your it. Uh, okay, tag I'm it. So, um... Should I just read the, the next one, I guess? Uh, that's up to you. Just know that we do need to get sure. to all the capers eventually. You're right. Okay, so... Uh, same person who asked, can I be in the vid? Your next question is, how did you initially start working on episode one of Wing? Um, I'm actually going to answer that as Tiba because uh, our first video ever was essentially our episode one, just mm -hmm. shorter within a 10-minute uh, time frame for anyone who is not aware, Tiba was the contest that Team Four Star held back in 2016. Jesus, don't tell me that. Was it, was it 2015? No, it was 2016. 2016, yeah. Um, and we did that uh, in the basement of our mom's house uh, with a snowball microphone that we borrowed from a friend. Um, we initially started on that uh, with just a notebook um, and watching the first two episodes of Wing and trying to figure out how to turn this into an episode uh, and seeing how we could make it funny. It was just us writing things down in a notebook and then seeing what stuck, recording them really quickly, and then me trying to figure out how to audio and video edit on the fly. Um, that that was our Tiba. If you watch it still, it has not aged well, but that was us in about two and a half weeks of work trying to figure it out. Yeah, I saw I that Team 4 Star video too late. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we did I, it. I I had only made, I think, four videos up to that point, and I owned, like, a six-year-old version of Magic's editing software. That is what we did it on. <laughs> that crashed um, multiple it was, times. Yeah, it cra the video got too big where it crashed multiple times, and it couldn't handle the audio, so it kept uh, replacing audio files uh, whenever I would mix it down. Uh, the, the worst one was uh, whenever Relina was thinking to herself, and it was a very like small recording so i had to jack up the volume and then i gave it a like cathedral effect so it sounded like it was in her head uh that was accidentally replaced by a gunshot file for some reason <laughs> so I, just, <laughs> I get like six minutes in headphones on really really you know loud and then all of a sudden really is that boom and then like so much that i threw my head headset off and i was like okay well we'll do another one and i mix it down again <laughs> now, if you watch our Tiba, there are actually multiple audio pops in it was because i couldn't figure out how to fix it and just had to send it it was bad anyway that yep. was a lot of answer for such a simple question blue you're next oh i'm next okay uh <laughs> if i says <laughs> i remember if if you want a really long answer ask me a really complicated question and i will go on for 20 minutes ask him about what is truly the death of uh Roroni kitchen and we'll be here for six <laughs> oh hours my God. Meanwhile, with me, it's like, hey, what do you think of Sonic? And I'm like, it's good. He's fast. I like it. Next question. Uh, okay, so next question from uh, our first caper that's on the list. Good old Vi. <laughs> Are y'all still hoping to get sponsored by Arby's? Look, I'm going to be real with you. That started as a joke, as everything I say does. But straight up, if someone from Arby, uh, Ar from Arby, from Arby's, um, Arby. the first one, the progenitor, the Arby, <laughs> Uh, said, hey, we will give you uh, $5 to put our image on your videos. I'd be like, yeah, absolutely. I haven't eaten your food in like 15 years, but I, yes, for the sake of the joke and the sake of your funny logo with the little hat, I will do it. As long as I can turn the A around because that's preem. I, I have a bit of uh, history with Arby's, but that's not the question. I will save that for later. Yeah, that'll be the next one. So next month, if y'all want to ask Gray what's your history with Arby's, I don't even know the answer to that, so maybe I will. <laughs> okay, my turn? Yes. Okay. Um, and by the way, I don't know about Blue, but I have not looked at any of these questions. I decided to avoid this channel the entire time, so all of these are brand new to me. Uh, and so also... 
Sorry. Huh? And also, I just want people to know that like this is the first time we've done this. If it's like awkward or we skip some questions without meaning to, <laughs> uh, we'll 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 we'll, concise, we'll make it more concise later. But for now, we're just kind of yeah. fucking winging it. So <laughs> <laughs> winging it. Oh uh, yeah. Well, so this one, I don't even know how it ends. Let's read it. When the day eventually comes when you finish abridging all of Gundam Wing and the movie (parentheses) and if you do plan to do other Gundam abridged series afterwards, uh, which Gundam series do you plan on doing next? So, I don't know. That was always a part of the plan. That's actually why we call it Mobile Suit Abridged Gundam Wing instead of just Gundam Wing Abridged. Mm -hmm. We wanted to have the opportunity to just tag Mobile Suit Abridged onto anything we wanted to do after this. Uh, it is significantly harder to abridge a show than I thought it was. Yeah. Um, and with all the copyright issues, we don't know if we'll do another one. But if we do, my choice would be Turn A Gundam. Blue, what's your choice if you wanted to go with it? Well, originally when we had talked about it, uh, we were debating either Seed, because that's the most memeable, even though neither of us know anything about Seed, uh, yeah. or Double Zero, because we've been told that that's rather similar to Wing, even though neither of us know anything about Double Zero. But um, if I had to pick, I would probably do one of the vintage ones, just because I, I think playing with that uh, animation would be fun. Uh, so like, like G? Well, G would be something, but I mean like I mean like <laughs> Zeta, Double Zeta, something like that. If isn't, I, isn't Double Zeta like your favorite design or something? Oh, I love the double. That's a big chunky boy. That's <laughs> that's like if two tanks had sex. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I think like in terms of the future of bridging, we're not entirely sure because you you all know how Toei played out. They just they just said, hey, you, fuck you, and uh. <laughs> And and Bandai's been hit or miss. There was that time when our whole channel got taken down, but then after that, it's just been putting ads in our stuff. If that's how it stays, maybe we'll venture into that, but it's really all just kind of up in the air. If we do, I would say it's probably going to tend more towards, like, summing up the whole thing as opposed to, like, we're going to individually get to the depth of the series. It's going to be like, hey, here's Double Zeta in, like, 20 minutes. We tried our best. <laughs> Something like that. But nothing is set in stone. All right, Blue, you're next. Oh, I thought that was my question. Um, no, okay. I mean, like, just ask another one. Let's let's get through as much, as many of these as we can. Okay, so um, here's one from Hobbs that says, <laughs> "What's gonna happen to Otto since spoilers? He has canonically died in the original anime at this point in the story, but is technically still alive in the bridge." Yeah, so. Uh, Gray originally had the idea of uh, what if Otto doesn't die. And I was smart enough to not say anything besides, yeah. And now we're at a point where actually once that episode was done, uh, once it was out, we both kind of looked at each other and we were like, okay, now what do we do with Otto? Ah. Uh... <laughs> so. Yeah, full, full disclosure, there is no plan for Otto yet. But yes, he's alive. <laughs> he is alive. And we will bring him back. We do not know how. That will be a season two thing. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 split, we're splitting Wing into two seasons. We're splitting it down the middle. That way we can uh, take a, a short break to write ahead. And instead of going episode by, ep by episode, I want to actually write multiple episodes in advance so that there aren't these long waits in between. At that point, I will outline where in the world Otto will show up, and then I will know. Until then, no idea. He's just alive. <laughs> yeah, he is. And and uh, for the fullest disclosure, he has healed completely. He's back to normal, and you know what? Uh, true canon, he has a girlfriend. Okay. Yep, I'm saying it right now. It's canon in Mobile Suit Bridge, Gundam Wing. Oh, he... it's straight and uh, taken, sorry. He's happy. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> he deserves right, it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to scroll down so that we don't just stick at the top and just pick one. Uh, let's see. What is... Oh, this is a really long one, so I'm just going to read it. From Zero Cool Psycho. Uh, let's see. I have to say one of my favorite approaches you guys take to Gundam Wing Abridge, particularly the way you expand on the characters and the backgrounds only touched upon in the movie or in the manga. I It almost seems like you guys follow the manga route in some ways. Wufei having the ex-Nataku killed was particularly well played, good sirs. Thank you. Hey, uh, was this thanks. a conscious decision going into the series, or did you just sort of evolve along the way? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, that was always the plan, but I looked more into... Um, all of the uh, other versions of Wing, the original mangas, uh, Episode Zero, 
uh, and then later on the uh, new mangas, which started getting published around the time that we were making episode uh, three, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I knew I knew some of the background info, and we'd always planned on doing that. But even though we have general plans going forward, a lot of this stuff comes episode by episode. Like for instance, um, uh, Mei Long coming in in Wu Fei's memories was something that was only decided once we got to episode eight, and we thought, "Wow, this is a really cool idea." But her art was obviously um, directly inspired by the art that they created for the manga. Which, by the way, all of the Wing fans that are listening to this right now, if you haven't read the uh, Glory of Losers manga, you definitely should. It's very good, and it's surprisingly good art. It's such good art. Um, yeah. But, yeah, that, that was a cool question. Thank you. All right. So since there are so many questions, I'm going to scroll down and rapid-fire ones that have simple answers. Are you ready for this? Okay. Yeah, go for it. All right. For, so <laughs> from Vi, can I borrow a 350? No. Two questions for gray and blue. <laughs> what are your favorite colors? Well, mine's blue. Mine's green. Sorry. Yeah. Actually, fun fact about uh, Gray's name. Gray uh, is a is his middle name uh, from uh, when he was in middle school. I think you made uh, this the 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 screen name stained gray out of your favorite mm-hmm. band and your middle name. Yep. And Gray yeah, is his. Was, that was twelve year old me. Yep, and it was a cool name, unlike me, who made an awful name that I will not tell you. Uh, and only recently <laughs> did I come up with Lucky Blue, uh, kind of playing off his thing. But blue is my favorite color. Uh, and then he also it said, "He really is. He he has a blue Xbox controller. He usually wears blue. For some lot. reason I have a blue car, not him. But we'll fix that one day." Yeah, mine's red. It's weird. Uh, anyway. Uh, what are your favorite Gunpla grades? Well, uh, Gray knows fuck all about Gunpla. Uh, I do. I'm I, I'm revoking my Gundam card. I apologize. I have never actually built any Gunpla. We'll get there. Don't worry. But my personal favorite is uh, the high grades, the HGs, because I don't feel as bad if I mess up some part of it, and they don't take as long, so I can feel like I did more with my day. Uh, <laughs> And then uh, Isabit says, what is the best Sonic game? Sonic Generations, that's my take. Uh, what is a Geikel Among Us anyway? We don't know. Uh, <laughs> how ridiculously good looking is your adult Goku voice actor? Absolutely egregiously, I'd marry him if I could. Did Shinikami, Shinikami ask that? Okay. Yes, he did. Uh, I didn't actually know that when you when you asked it, and then I scrolled down, and yes, that was Jimmy Kami. Uh, have you played the Gundam Wing fighting game? Actually, yes, we have, and we owned a we own a English ROM hack version for the SNES that we have played, and will stream one day. Yeah. And I'll go ahead and turn it over to Gray now, and get back to rapid fire later. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's look for another long one. I like long ones. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> shut up! Don't set me up. Uh, okay. Uh, just quietly drink my tea. Let's go with this one from Just Communication. Did either of you play the Cartoon Network Flash games you referenced in your April Fool's video? Blue, did you? Yeah, a lot. When I was a kid, I, uh, I wanted to do everything that Gray did because he's my older brother. And with Gundam Wing, when we watched it, uh, he had bought the entire set on DVD. And I was really young. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Gundam Wing is rather complicated. And I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> but I liked the red one with the gun. So I went to gun uh, to uh, CartoonNetwork.com and typed in Gundam and got lucky. So I did play that kind of a lot. Uh, yeah, and uh, I did not because I was, uh, whenever it came out, we were on dial-up and I was never really allowed on the internet. Our only computer was the one in Dad's Den. It was Windows 95. And whenever I asked if I could get on, um, he said no. So I missed out on a lot of internet up until like uh, 2001, 2002. So when that game was brand new, I wasn't even on CartoonNetwork.com. I wasn't one of the cool kids. Yeah, but he couldn't beat these puppy dog guys. <laughs> Uh, all right. Since you did a few, let me. Uh, oh, here is Blue. You can't ask questions. No one said I can't. Question for Gray Dragon Age or Mass Effect. That's a really, really in depth question. And I don't know that I. Surface have level, let's go. Surface it. level, let's go. Surface level, Mass Effect. <laughs> yeah, I'll go Mass Effect. Uh, but then Hobbs asked, uh, in response to Blue's question, if, it, uh, if Dragon Age, favorite teammate, or if. Mass Effect, Ashley or Caden? Well, since I said Mass Effect, Ashley, Caden sucks. Yeah. I don't like Caden. 
Even Eden is probably my least favorite, eh, one of my least favorite uh, people in Mass Effect, which says a lot because I love everyone in Mass Effect. Gray is very vocal about stuff that he doesn't like, and uh, <laughs> I know a lot about stuff that I know nothing about, and it's all specific. Before I played Mass Effect, I knew one thing. Caden had headaches, and you hate him, and Jacob was bland. I knew that much. And then when it comes to football, I can't tell you anything but switch arms. I knew that. I know that. <laughs> switch your arms. That's it. I'm not going to explain it. And that's just what I know. All right, Blue, take another question. Um, What is your favorite pizza topping? Mushrooms. Don't at me. Gray? Mushrooms are very good. Uh, Don't at him either. Pepperoni. pepperoni is still my favorite because I'm basic, but mushrooms are my close second. We always get mushrooms on our pizzas. Question for Blue. Why so Blue? Uh... I'll just avoid the... No, I was going to say I was going to avoid that. Why so blue? Um, Because the dub of No Gun's Life isn't caught up yet, and I'm waiting patiently. And simulcast my ass. Um, <laughs> and then let's see what else we got. Shawarma or spaghetti? Interesting question. Answer spaghetti. Mine's spaghetti, too. It is spaghetti. We love spaghetti. Uh, yeah. Did either of you play... Oh, underneath just communication also asked to blue. How old is Brutus? Thank you for asking. Brutus is five and a half years old. Uh, and and then, he's adorable. And he's the best. Uh, and then uh, Harry asked, will we ever get a JoJo reference? You bet your sweet tokus. I don't know where yet. Now that Gray has seen all of JoJo, it'll be harder to sneak them in without him noticing, but I'll find a way. <laughs> Gray, it's your turn. All right. Uh, well, we haven't answered any YouTube questions yet, so I'm going to migrate over there. Uh, for everyone who isn't in our Discord server or just doesn't use Discord, um, we have uh, posts that will be on YouTube, and you can ask questions there. The most liked questions uh, we will answer. So I am going to go by the likes and just answer some of these. So the first one, um, let's see, with eight. Yeah. So from uh, Hyde Keto. Who started the idea of Gunnam Wing Abridged? Am I allowed to talk? I, I guess it was me. No, it was me. You don't remember? I, I thought I was like, hey, we could do this. Well, so yes and no. In high school, you tell the story. In high school I, had, uh, I was in the theater department and had a lot of friends that were interested in voice acting. And they were all really into um, Team Four Stars Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Um, and we were like, we can probably do something similar to that, said four idiots without any video editing experience. Uh, and I had mentioned uh, Gundam Wing because it was one I grew up on. It was rather silly. The visuals were nice. And from to my knowledge, there wasn't uh, one running at the time. And when I told that to Gray, uh, just kind of an excited little brother saying, here's a project I can do. The seed was planted in his head. And he was like, I could make a Gundam Wing a bridge. And then whenever uh, the plans fell through with me and my friend, uh, Gray was like, you know, who could do a gun to wing abridged. And then we decided then and there that we were going to do it. But then I don't think we ever got around to it until Tiba. Yep. It was probably a year before Tiba. I actually completely forgot that you guys were going to do one. Well, we said we were. I don't know about you. You invited me downstairs to watch Dragon Ball Z abridged. And I came in during the part where uh, they go back to planet Kanasa. And there's just a whole bunch of that alien race saying, um, things that happened and then it mm -hmm. finishes with uh gohan's the strongest in the universe but he still Who can't do crap. crap yeah and, and i, I can see like, the future yeah what what is this i okay jordan you're dumb i or, or, yeah uh just like this is dumb i'm leaving um it wasn't until you showed me the cooler movie that i was sold on a bridging and then we watched uh Endless Waltz, wasn't it like two days before Christmas? We were like, ah, it's a Christmas yes. movie, ha, ha. Yeah. And then we just made fun of it the whole time and thought, oh my god, this could work. Mm -hmm. We have so many ideas. Uh, so, I yeah. know one of the YouTube uh, questions is, will we do Endless Waltz? And that's definitely the plan. Uh, for anyone curious, we are going to take Gundam Wing Abridge like, to the end of Gundam Wing. Uh, or Mobile Suit Abridged before Gray comes in here and slaps me. Uh, we will do Endless Waltz, but it's actually funny. We started 100% with Endless Waltz. We've had jokes lined up for Endless Waltz for years, and there have already been seeds planted throughout the show. Like, we know exactly how Endless Waltz is going to play out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the it's junk beforehand. Up to Endless Waltz, so we're kind of like just doing as we go. Um, yep. Almost every character, when we characterize them, we think, okay, 
how are they going to end in endless waltz yeah like where are we trying to get to and like most of our decisions whether it's uh, how Wufei reacts to things, how uh, Relina is growing, all of those things revolve around how will they be in this waltz? Because we don't want to do a thematic like 180 on someone. We want to make sure that it stays consistent the whole time, mm -hmm. uh, even though we're writing episode to episode. Uh, and that question, by the way, was from uh, Stephen Emery, or Stefan. I never know how to pronounce that one, but uh, hope I got it right. Stone Cold Steph so Austin. <laughs> let's do one more youtube one now uh this is a really long one and it got eight <clears> likes <throat> so uh from bullets under pressure what gave you the ambition to make a gundam wing of bridge with so much meta humor and then it goes on to uh compliment us a lot and while i love the comments, oh no don't leave that out okay okay uh you guys created a series that has so many references to the fandom side of the series even the yaoi side uh -huh. that's unheard of in abridged comedies this is my favorite anime so to see an original interpretation after all these years is invigorating thank you guys i'm hero f and yui in the discord so hey there he is hero i'm looking at him hi hey <laughs> Hey, he's we, here. Hey, we see you. Hey. <laughs> um, thank you very much for the compliments. Uh, we're glad that you like it. We're glad we're glad that everyone here enjoys it uh, uh, enough to be here with us. Uh, it's it's very humbling. But the actual question, what gave us the ambition um, with meta humor? The meta humor is just something that we enjoy anytime we watch things whenever they are uh, referring to things past themselves, whenever we can, you know, snap point the screen like oh i get that um that's something we really enjoy mm -hmm. uh the the other half of it though is we always want it to be approachable for people who aren't even fans we want to be able to show it uh to our family members who have no idea what gundam wing is and at least they know what's going on there's there's a balance there um the ambition just comes from a love of the series and wanting to create something honestly mm -hmm. like there are a lot of series i love but we decided gundam wing and as soon as we did i was 100 percent in on that and once we got that first episode out, the goal has always been to see it through and um, create something. The That's where the drive comes from. You just you want to be a creator and you want to share something mm -hmm. uh, that you put a lot of passion into with other people. So every comment that we get, we read. Yeah. Uh, we, we love seeing that people enjoy it and we love seeing... Um, uh, when they have questions, when when uh, we spark something where they're like, uh, you know, thinking about something new that they hadn't before, that's where a lot of the meta comes from is we want we want people to know why Wu Fei is a jerk. Mm -hmm. Like, is it the best reason? I don't know. You can decide, but I'm at least going to bring up Meilan because the show didn't. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's that's where that goes. And uh, the, the motivation also comes from a, a point that Gray didn't touch on is, like, uh, we want to create, like, yeah, that is a big part of us, a big of the fire is we want to put our talent into creating something. But also, it's more than just poking fun at Gundam Wing. Uh, our parodies for both uh, Dragon Ball Bridge and Mobile Suit Bridge is it's it's a, a love letter to the series. It's pointing out, yeah, here's some dumb stuff that happened. Yeah, I mean, Hero did really snap his leg back together somehow. But... <laughs> Also, there's a lot there's a lot of depth that is there if you look. Um, sort of inspired by there were moments in uh, Team Four Stars, uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Not you know the big part was the ending of uh, their whole series was rather it's still jokes, but they're they're highlighting what the, what was actually good about the show, and that's a big part of what fuels us for Gundam Wing is we want to show people it's not just stupid. There's also stuff in there. Yes, it is stupid, but there, there's good stuff in there, Most and that's part of it. If you really think about it too long. If you really, yeah, No Gun's Life is about a man for a gun for a head, and you can't take that too seriously. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's go back to some uh, Discord questions. All right. Since we got everybody here. Yeah, and since we've been at this for a while, let me start doing some more uh, rapid fire. We skipped over one of our, uh, one of our cool capers. Where is it hiding? Uh, which intern has the most confirmed kills from Vi? We'll, <laughs> we need to confer on that and get back to you. Um, yeah, but now we will look. We will see. Uh, Just Communication asks, do you have a planned number of episodes for Go Goku time, like 10 or 12, even if it won't be the final number? Not exactly. With Wing, we, we do have a rough idea of how many episodes the series will be with uh, Goku time overall planning for it just kind of really took a kind of emotional hit due to Toei and what they did but we do have overall plans of how the series will go our end goal is to finish it so it will happen but I would say on the whole it probably will have more episodes than Wing I'd say but overall they will be shorter shorter episodes 
that we're hoping yeah. for. That was kind of always the goal. We were worried that if we did two short of episodes with Wing, um, then the convoluted stories wouldn't be told as well because a lot of different plot threads happen at once in Wing, whereas Dragon Ball, uh, basically the whole episode revolves around Goku and friends doing one specific thing. Mm -hmm. um, so they're, they're different storytelling formats. And uh, I went into the show already having an idea of how I wanted to structure each episode and how I wanted to split up each um, plot, essentially. Uh, and I have like a determined number that I want to do. Now that may change. Um, we've already gone a little bit longer than I expected. Like uh, uh, episode eight, the Wu Fei half was actually supposed to be in episode seven. It got way too long, so we split them up. So mm -hmm. it's possible that there will be more episodes than I expect, but we we have a general idea, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then let's see. Another one of our capers, uh, Mina Kitten, said, "What's your favorite dinosaur?" I'm sorry for being so normy, but T-Rex, he's got little hands. I think that's cute. And also, he really liked being big. I like that about him. Okay. <laughs> uh, my question? Yeah. No, no, no. The okay. rest of that. I'm still going through my fire. Got it. Uh, so what's your favorite dinosaur? Hmm. Okay, you think about that. Favorite Gundam no, Wing I, character no, no, to no, write? <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's also kind of normy, but uh, Velociraptor. They scared the crap out of me whenever I first watched um, uh, Jurassic Park. Um, and in Dino Crisis, that is the first uh, dinosaur that you see. And that also scared the crap out of me. So Velociraptors. And they attacked Best Buy employees. Or, uh, no, Blockbuster employees. Yeah, and, yeah. and no, I won't explain that. Uh, okay, favorite Gundam Wing abridged character to write for? Me, personally, I'd say probably Catherine. Because Catherine ends up being a lot of my slapstick humor. Catherine kind of comes naturally to me, personally. Um, because a lot of times Catherine is just kind of a like a snap, wink, and a zinger. Um, Gray is so, so much better at, like, character depth and meaning behind what they say. I'm just the, like, you know, make a fart sound with my armpit and laugh about it. So... <laughs> you don't give yourself enough credit. I'm okay. giving the... With Catherine, I got the perfect amount of credit. Like, uh, Discord... The Discord video we did went off. But what about you? Uh, it's, it's hard to say favorite, I think. Mm -hmm. There are two different types of favorite. The favorite, like, oh, man, I finally get to write this person. This is going to be great and easy. Zex. Um, I love writing Zex just as much as our actor loves playing Zex. Uh, he is he is easy to write zingers for. Um, he's he's complex, but we haven't got to that yet. But he is like the easiest one to put on paper for me, and I end up writing a lot of stuff for him that eventually gets cut because I wrote too much. Um, mm -hmm. But the other kind of favorite, like the most rewarding, I think, is Relina. Um, she was my biggest fear coming into the show because I wasn't sure exactly how to make her a well-liked character. Um, I was worried, uh, because when I was a kid, I didn't like her. Uh, it wasn't until I grew up and rewatched the show that I kind of understood um, more of what she was doing, but she seemed like a hard character to write, and I, you know, I'm coming from um, a male perspective, and I want to make sure that I'm uh, uh, doing her justice. So uh, a lot of our characters... Um, uh, that aren't the, the same as us. We want to run by other people. Uh, and with Relina, I'm always constantly worried that I'm doing something wrong or I'm uh, not giving her the weight that she deserves as the um, uh, primary female in, in the show. Mm -hmm. So I put a lot of effort into her. We rewrite her a lot. And the fact that she's come out well, and I, I like what we've made so far, and it seems that uh, most of you guys like her as well, and our, our uh, actor loves her, um, I feel very proud of that, so she might be my favorite one that I write for. All right, now let's get a couple more quick ones. Uh, there was one I really liked. Uh, did you wish on last night's shooting star, and if so, what did you wish for? God, I remember <laughs> that. You know what's funny is I played Animal Crossing last night and deadass uh, wished on a star, and I asked for a star piece for my new wand, and by God, I got it. Nice. Yeah. Uh... Favorite Pokemon? I, if I love huh? when people can quote those specific things that are like, I, I love that question. I've heard that line so many times when I rewatch our stuff, <laughs> thinking critically that like the halfway through the sentence, I was like, "And what did you wish for?" I remember exactly how he said it. Uh, favorite Pokemon? If you guys have one, mine is Charmeleon. Gray's is Magmar. Am I right? <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. Am I right? Maybe. 
Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there was another one I really liked. But we got uh, all the capers except one. Uh, Just Communication asks, are you looking forward to Chainsaw Man? Fun fact, uh, bought the number one uh, like a couple days ago. Haven't read it yet, but I am excited for it. Uh, he was explicitly told to, so he got mm-hmm. it. Uh, we'll, will we'll you... get back to you on how I liked it on the next one. Yeah. Will you do another Fire Emblem parody? Maybe. Dre? That took so much more effort than I thought it was going to, and it still has, like, I don't know, 2,200 <laughs> views. Criminally low know. views. Yeah, so uh, if we do, um, it'll be something where we have more editors, we have more time, we do this regularly, and it'll be something that I do on the side. I am a huge Fire Emblem fan, um, but that isn't really where our channel is geared towards, so I don't know if I will. I do have ideas for doing essentially the same setup, but with Fates and making fun of the story of Fates. Um, but that took so much more effort than I thought it was going to be. We'll see if I ever do again. <laughs> uh, what? What? Oh, fuck. Uh, what? Hobbs asked, can we get a episode re-release where Blue voices everyone? Fuck, dude. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, we'll... We'll make it a reward of some sort. We'll we'll do something where the yeah. The answer I'll... is yes, just because I want to see if Blue will do it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so uh, I I want to uh, answer this one uh, by Zero Cool Psycho uh, that was just asked. Um, it says, "I feel y'all's portrayal of Catra and Troa being openly gay is both hilarious and pretty positive." I've yet to ever think anything has been offensive about their behavior or jokes. Is it difficult to write jokes about their sexuality without overstepping the line and being offensive? Um, I will be honest. It is not difficult as long as you don't um, treat them as anything other than a relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not a gay relationship. It's a relationship. Um, I think that it's important to uh, realize that and not ever punch down or or single out that aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Now, every relationship is different, um, and we do uh, uh, run some jokes by our um, LGBT friends to make sure that we aren't accidentally offensive in a way. But honestly, if you don't see them as a gay couple and you see them as a couple, it's not that hard. Mm-hmm. And I think that's important. The easiest way that we ask ourselves whenever we write a joke, like how it will be received, is... Is this a joke about the fact that they are gay, or is it a joke about the fact that they are a dysfunctional relationship? And as long as it's number B, yeah, as long as it's B, then we're good, because it doesn't matter who they are, it matters what they're doing. Um, so that's where it and, comes into play. And that that's something where we do want to be uh, Did I say number more B? inclusive of the God things that we create, and that was something that uh, uh, we always kind of thought while watching the show. Uh, so we decided, why don't we make that our canon? There are a couple. and And we just ran with it. So mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm glad uh, Zero Cool Psycho um, that uh, uh, you don't think that it's ever been offensive. We're very glad for that. If it ever is, we want to be called out. <laughs> this one I just find funny. To Blue and Gray, how did you two meet? Uh, we're brothers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you he, see, my he, mom had an awful night. <laughs> <laughs> he was born, and then Dad was like, "Hey, you got a brother." And I was like, "Ah, oh, man." Dad, your dad was like, "Hey, check this out." <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. can you do some more from YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we haven't done YouTube in a while. Let's see. So, um, we've got... Uh, oh, wait, no, we already did that one. Never mind. <laughs> this one uh, from from WeaverNuts24. You can <laughs> accept them? Okay. Uh, no. If you, mean, if you mean the actor because of how that one episode ended where he said, uh, are we done? He is fine. Um, that voice is very hard for him. He loves doing it, but we had to space out all of his recordings because it was difficult. Uh, he is fine. The actual character, he's not okay. He's dead. He's very dead. Very Unlike dead. Otto, he is absolutely dead. You can't be um, deader than that guy. We had actually thought of bringing him back as a guilty conscience thing for Un, but then we realized, wait a second, that's just Ghost Nappa. That's just Ghost we didn't do it. Yeah. yeah, we didn't do it. Um, so let's see. Another <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. You, you know you have which, to do it. I know what you're looking which, at. Which one of you would win a hot dog eating contest? Blue. Me. Blue would win. I, I would, would tap out. I would go fucking crazy for them dogs. Also, it fun would. fact, that was asked by our voice actor for Hero. <laughs> he's, he's a goof. And uh, he's... Also, I think I think we're going to have hot dogs tomorrow. We'll see. 
Nice! We'll pull back. <laughs> um, okay, so another YouTube one. This one is from uh, Finial Ali. Uh, of all the characterization changes you've made to the show's cast, which do you feel has been the greatest success at taking on a life of its own and providing you material to work with or off of? This is easy for me, the interns. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the idea of um, our friend voicing like every single Oz uh, soldier, and we didn't really know how it would plan out. And in the first episode, uh, we had Jeff the intern, and uh, we felt that no one thought it was funny, and we kind of questioned if we should keep doing it. Um, but then around, I think it was episode five was when we got the got use and stuff people started really liking them and now every time an oz soldier comes on screen i get to ask what would an intern do um they they are literally a character made from nothing and i'm very happy that it happened i love them me too like i i don't want to just piggyback off him but as he was saying that uh question i was like it's definitely the interns i love the interns <laughs> i love them to I death. Love them. and we still have plans for those beautiful little fuckers they're not done yet yeah. Yeah, we, we have we have plans uh, that we're not going to share now, but there will be more interns in the future. Yep. Obviously, but you know, we, we have a specific plan. All right, uh, let's so do one more YouTube one. All right, and then we'll do a couple more from Discord and this, then we'll call it. It's getting a little long. Yeah. This is this is one that I absolutely want to answer. How annoying are lip flaps? Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> you know, the part of this. I um, so I don't, I don't know uh, uh, how other bridgers do it, um, but especially with the quality of uh, Gun and Wing because it is an older anime, um, it's very hard to just like match lips up to the uh, source material. So it's it's hard to to just you know change it up so like it just kind of matches enough and you go on. It's always wrong. So I have to like freeze frame it and then uh, create layers in Photoshop where I can like uh, erase their mouth and then put it back on in multiple things. And then I put them back in and try and line it up with the uh, uh, what's being said. I have to do that for almost everyone. And it is the last thing I save because I hate doing them. I'll finish the whole thing and then I'll throw it over to blue. Like, hey, how's it look? Uh, you missed. I know I miss lip flaps. Look at everything else. I'll fix those <laughs> later. I do not like them, but it also bothers me heavily whenever they're not on, so I obsess over them. They are the bane of my existence. God forbid we write a line and have it recorded and the due date's coming up and we forgot the fact that that character is moving when they talk. Yes. Oh my god, that was such a problem with episode one. We actually <laughs> forgot that Otto is not in the sub, so that was when I learned uh, how to replace like a whole person, mm -hmm. and it went terribly, which is why it got better when we moved on to uh, later episodes. But we the whole time thought that Otto was in that sub, and then whenever I got all the recordings and I put it to video, I texted Blue and I was like, "So Otto's not in the sub. <laughs> He's not there. Uh, we 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 messed up. He's not there. I'm gonna try and fix it." Um, but yeah, the the lip flaps, especially when people are moving, like for instance when Hiro and Relina are dancing. Um, that becomes an issue, and I hate them so much. Okay. Yeah, I second that. I know I only did it for uh, gun for uh, Dragon Ball, and f fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> They're the worst. They're the worst. Um, um, oh, I forgot one from Just Communication that said, what's your favorite Gundam Wing unit, and what Gundam unit would you pilot if you had to choose only one? Uh, for those of you that know me, it's very obvious when it comes to me. Heavy Arms. I love Heavy Arms. I think Heavy Arms is hands down the best design of any Gundam, even over Double Zeta, which I previously said I liked. Um, I just, I love the, the slight asymmetry of it. I love the fact that every part of him is a weapon. It, it feels that he's genuinely, genuinely a, 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 a weapon for war as opposed to wow, cool robot. I know that's stupid because he's like the weakest fucking Gundam ever, but I love him. Great. Okay. I would say if we're restricting it to wing, wing zero one. I know that wing zero is the big one. I like the simplicity of uh, zero one's design. And I also like having a giant gun while also not going crazy. So I would mm -hmm. pick zero one. <laughs> if we're going over the entire, like, you know, any, any Gundam ever, um, I might actually, I might actually pick turn A. Wow. I think, I think, I think turn A is really cool. I think it's like freaky butterfly system. 
uh, where I can just like, oh, you're going to do this? You know, I can like destroy the world. Um, I think that's really cool. And the mustache is cool. I am I am in on the mustache. Eggman robot. <laughs> I, 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 we have that emote in the server where he's like curling his mustache and I never have an excuse to use it, but I want to just throw it out sometime and see what people say. Okay, uh, let's see, a couple more. <laughs> Harry asked any good Yaoi to watch or read. Listen, man, you, <laughs> you're asking the wrong crew. We're way too straight for that question. <laughs> I, I have not, I have not read any yaoi we, at all uh actually asked friends to give us yaoi suggestions um because i wanted to make the joke and make it seem like we knew a lot about it mm -hmm. uh so that's that's how that happened um i'm trying to think I'm trying to think if there's anything that i've watched that had yaoi in it there has to be something i don't know every single piece of yaoi that's in Catherine's stash i discovered that day and also f did enough research to know that there wasn't anything like yucky in it and it was all um <laughs> thorough I, research i was about to say family friendly and then i thought well but like nothing nothing too yucky uh so i, I actually one time in a half price books pulled a manga that i thought looked kind of cool and then when i opened it up it was just like like straight up uncensored sex and i was like oh neat and then put it back into like the normal section where it somehow ended up uh so that is the one time that um i had uh yaoi like in my hands all right so he's gone further than i have <laughs> uh i think we've gotten all the capers besides just communication recently asking does Catherine dislike the yucky stuff no i just <laughs> i i i'm not gonna answer that on Catherine's behalf but i will say that uh the main thing is i didn't just want to pick any yaoi from a google search because i didn't know what the content was there could be stuff that's like dark or stuff that's just like you know when i say yucky it's just a light way of saying stuff that would make people extremely uncomfortable uh i wanted to make sure it was all not surface level but like you know something that wouldn't make people extremely uncomfortable that's what i mean by yucky stuff um and I Let's think... do some more rapid fire ones to uh, finish up. Uh, so... I want to, but holy shit, I am scrolling really fast and I can't remember. Uh, have we done that one? Yes. Have we done that one? Yes. Have we done that one? Yes. Ah. I like the question that just says that's awesome. All right. Yeah, man. You. Here's a high five. <laughs> Me to you. Uh, so uh, one, who's the older brother? I am. Um, Gray. That's me. I'm the older one. Uh, let's see. No, you know what? Me. I am. No, you're not. Starting now. <laughs> okay. Uh, are gray, you get, gray, seven are you years older than robo, me. Uh, robo fans. Um, I have not watched it, so I can't say I am. I'm a custom uh, robo fan. Huh? I said I'm a custom robo fan. If that means anything. <laughs> it anymore. They don't even own the copyright. Uh, no! have, you, have you heard of Zoids? Yes. Uh, as we as we reference Liger Zero, that wasn't blind luck. We have actually uh, heard of Zoids. Uh, mm -hmm. Blue watched it more than I did. I watched whatever was on uh, Toonami growing up. It's been a long time since I watched it, so I'm definitely not an aficionado, aficionado that's going to whip out some lore on you, but I did definitely play the uh, GameCube game and liked Liger Zero, hence why I picked Liger Zero. Um, uh, let's see, this one is, will we ever get a JoJo reference from Lock on Star We already answered that. Oh, you did? Yep. I, I missed it. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, we did. Yep. Duh. Yep. Okay, so this one is from Fire. Hi, Gray. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Uh, what's your favorite <laughs> part of the creation process for the series? I think my favorite part is adding in the music. I love adding in the music and timing everything to music. Um, so even though I'm not as great with the overall audio, timing things to music and making it all work uh, and planning for the music ahead is one of my favorites. That's why we have so many musical references and creating the uh, opening sequence. Uh, I change it every single time because that is one of my favorite parts is making an opening sequence to music. I love music. Well, I'm sorry. Um, what was the question? I was zoning out. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the creation process for the series? My favorite part of the creation process is bound to be visuals and visual planning. That's where a lot of my humor comes from. Um, there's a joke that... Uh, well, I guess hasn't come up yet because it's not out, but in episode two of uh, Goku Time, there's a joke that is entirely visual. There is no reason for that to be there. I could have just gone over the entire thing, but I think adding visuals that blend in as well as they can 
is very funny. Like uh, in Go in Goku Time specifically, whenever uh, Goten uh, says, uh, "Raise your hand if you can go Super Saiyan," this was actually Gray's idea. But uh, the visual edit of him raising his hand with that shit-eating grin is very funny. We did not need to go that extra mile. We could have just had Pan be upset. But the visual humor kind of ties it all together, reminds you that it's a comedy. My personal favorite is looking at a bland still and thinking, "How can I?" give them something to look at hence why i go absolutely bananas in the discord videos <laughs> yeah he, he he goes way above and beyond for the discord videos um all right so we have did you do let me go through oh uh fire actually asked another question <laughs> didn't you ask the people on experience point about yaoi i think i remember that uh this is my friend from another server and uh i did go to my friends in that server to ask hey Give me some yaoi, and uh, they they provided. It was it was very uh, helpful of them. So thank you, experience point. Okay, I think that is most of the questions. Is there any ones from YouTube you still wanted to answer? Any ones we didn't say, mention? Uh, I got the most liked ones, but let's let's look at these. Uh, when is the next episode from Gary Atkinson? I don't know. <laughs> I, just being honest, uh, we've had a lot of uh, issues trying to record people because there are multiple people who are unable to or mm -hmm. have been unable to. Uh, then there is the case of, you know, this whole year just kind of sucking. Um, it's kind of hard to write comedy in that. So we have tried. We uh, have multiple parts of episode 10 uh, of Gundam uh, uh, written, but it's not all a cohesive unit. Um, not everything has been recorded. So I really can't say yet until we have mm -hmm. all that done. There have for, been. Uh, Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say for um, uh, Goku Time episode two because he did not say which episode. Uh, we don't know again because Toei removed episode one from existence, and we need to figure out where we're going to host it. Um, yeah. Episode two is fully written, partially recorded, and partially made, and then we stopped because of Toei. That was actually supposed to be out uh, before Christmas, uh, hopefully before Thanksgiving, and then that just kind of didn't happen so yeah. we will make it i'm very happy with the script but we have to first focus on our other stuff get the channel moving again and then once we have a different way to publish it episode two will be made just to put it a little more in perspective i i don't want to sound like elitist or anything but for the people that don't know what goes into uh how we make an episode there is a lot of stuff we do besides just editing and recording and stuff like for instance there are uh some of our actors that have i mean i won't name anybody but that, that have uh, uh come to us and say like hey um I just want you to know I'm like, you know, a, something big is happening in my life and I'm not going to be fully available to record. I'm still going to do stuff, but I really don't think I can, you know, do major roles and that kind of stuff. So then we we as writers have to say, OK, well, this character needs to play less of a role. And now we need to go back to the drawing board and do that kind of stuff. So it's not that like there's a problem, but there this year takes a lot of at Well, I guess last year takes a lot of adaptation. Um, so that's where a lot of it comes in because we are perfectionists. We want to release a good episode, but we also have stuff we have to work around. So it's not just, you know, these guys are lazy or something like that. It's just, <laughs> uh, we're pretty lazy. We are lazy, but also, I mean, yeah. uh, when it's ready. <laughs> The, the big thing is whenever everything is recorded, I can give you a roundabout date until then it's kind of hit or miss. The mm -hmm. current goal is, if we can do it, I want to get it out by the end of February, but there are no promises because we still have a lot of recording to do. Uh, one question I've seen bounced around from a bunch of people and we haven't touched on yet uh, is uh, Movie Night Mondays, when the next one is. Uh, so the funny thing about Movie Night Mondays is that we... Um, we, we love the idea, we love the concept of Movie Night Mondays. The first one... The goal of Movie Night Mondays was to be easy videos to make, and we're stupid and made them not easy to make by putting a <laughs> bunch of visual edits in there. Um, that's one of the things where once we expand our editing team and get and get more people to help us, uh, now that we have that first episode with a clear like uh, uh, vision of what the series is supposed mm -hmm. to be, uh, they will come out more. We have we have probably a good five, six, maybe seven movies we've actually planned. But uh, when it comes to Movie Night Mondays, it's not just watch a movie and riff it we need to like cut it down as much as we can to fit it into a youtube video because the resident evil one i think ended up being 40 minutes but the actual runtime is like what an hour and 30 or something, something like that it's a lot of scripting so like uh they're coming but they're not 
what? And uh, I'll just add, we actually have one that's about 80% done, but we didn't have it done uh, in time for the holidays, and it is a holiday movie. So on my hard drive, I have a mostly finished one that we just need to finish up the ending, uh, mm -hmm. get more of the uh, uh, cutaway visual edits. Um, the artist wasn't available this past holiday to do them, so we just decided to push it off either to Christmas in July or just next year. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we have a third one that is mostly written, but we haven't actually started yet because other things took precedent. So we, mm -hmm. we have more coming, but we just thought that uh, our main series that, that you all are are here for, <laughs> yeah. Gundam, we felt like we should do that first. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it'll come. It'll be part of the, like, we have more editors, here, some side content, while Gray and I can focus on the main stuff. Um, so I, I saw one more from YouTube I want to ask. This is the, the last youtube question but okay. i really liked it it wasn't even one of the most liked i just want to, to ask it <laughs> okay. from uh, from text zero you're forced to work under one of the doctors who do you choose god uh of course you're gonna pawn that off me off the top of my head uh pff, let's see uh i would probably say pepper not just because he's uh, Troas, but because he's way too focused on his own work that I think he'll forget about me a lot of the times. <laughs> and I can slide right under that radar. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Seuss for me. Dr. Seuss. People are saying Dr. Seuss in the chat. Uh, well, I mean, you, you could just say you didn't know what to do. Yeah, like, sorry, uh, didn't get it. Sorry, didn't get it. Sorry, didn't get it. Uh, uh, your turn. Mine would definitely be Shoals because he is the normal one. And I feel like I wouldn't die soon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's he, kind of he's kind of doctor you go get a drink with after uh, today's yeah. session. <laughs> he he is actually the one that we cast like, hey, just do your normal voice. And he's like, what? No silly voice? No, no nope. silly voice. Everyone else has silly voices and weird quirks. You're the normal guy. I'm Doctor Scholes. That, that that is yeah <laughs> yeah that that is Doctor Scholes. So I would pick him. So that's all for the YouTube ones. Do we have any more Discord ones you want to hit up? I don't think so. I've been scrolling up and down. I'm very sorry if uh, I've missed your question or uh, if it just hasn't been touched upon. Also, some have been asked multiple times, but this has definitely gone way over 20 minutes. So uh, I has. think... This was really fun, though. It um, was fun. I, I think uh, next time it might be uh, me and Blue again, but we want to get our other actors in so you can hear from them as well. So if there are any in particular that uh, you would like to hear from, either let us know in Discord or uh, whenever this is published onto YouTube, let us know in the comments who you'd like to hear from, what character, what actor. Um, it can be from uh, Goku Time or Mobile Suit Bridge. If there's anyone that you want to hear from, uh, let us know, and we'll see if we can get them here, see if we can uh, uh, have them answer your questions. Uh, mm -hmm. There is one more question that I do want to um, answer because it came up, and I feel like I need to answer it. If you guys do another movie night, will it star Hulk Hogan? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, it will. Yeah. Uh, it will. So now you can narrow down what movie it is. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but uh, yeah, thank you very much for everyone who joined us. Uh, I'm very happy about the turnout. I didn't know if anybody was actually going to come, and it looked like a lot of people did. So uh, we'll do more of this. Uh, and we also have more plans of doing more with uh, uh, podcasts, Let's Play, stuff like that. Um, we're just looking for an office right now. Once we have that, you can hear more of our stupid voices, uh, mm -hmm. you know, doing stuff. One thing I, I want to make, it. one thing I want to make very clear, just for anybody that's like, you know, I am here for Gundam Wing and only Gundam Wing. I, I beat this into the ground, but as somebody who used to hate when TFS released anything that wasn't Dragon Ball Z Bridge, I want you to know that li the the literal goal for everything that we do that is not Gun and Wing abridged or uh, 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 Dragon Ball abridged is to not have to edit it. It's to something that we can do to relax, to 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 wind down from work, to basically use time effectively so that time we spent relaxing isn't wasted. The goal is that Gray and myself do not edit the side content, so it will have zero effect on how long it takes the wing uh, wing episodes to come out. I just want that to be clear. Well, the other thing is too for anyone who hasn't been on YouTube or anything similar, um, you cannot monetize the Abridged series because uh, that would put you in huge trouble or uh, someone already uh, laid claim to it and said you can't have this. So if we're going to turn this into a full-time thing, we do need to create content that we are allowed to monetize, and that is the goal. That way we can stop doing this as a part-time thing whenever we get home and have the energy, and more just get to spend like an entire day you know, working on it and not have to fit around another schedule. So uh, if you like our stuff, if you like the channel and want to see it succeed, we would really appreciate you at least giving some of the new things that we make a try. Mm -hmm. And if you like them, uh, share them with other people and, uh, you know, tell them we're funny. Not to toot our own horn, but I think, I think we're, I, you know, I think we're pretty fun. 
funny. I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. I think our movie, movie night Mondays is a funny video. I'm gonna say it. Your, your mic cut out as soon as you said that. Whatever. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for a very wonderful night. It was a lot of fun, and uh, uh, we may change the timing for the next uh, Q and A just because I work Fridays, and I know a lot of people in our server can't make this time frame. We may end up moving it to Saturday or something. But either way, it'll be the first week of next month. And if you have any input on when you would like to see it uh, for next month, go ahead and join our Discord if you aren't already here. And let us know. We like talking with you guys and uh, hearing directly from you. So if there's a specific time that the whole community decides is the best one, we'll do that. And besides that, I hope you all are having an awesome new year. Thank you so much for coming. It was a lot of fun. And I'm really embarrassed and don't know how to wrap this up. So goodbye. I love all of you. Brutus says hi. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thank you for coming.